On September 24, 2021, at approximately 4.30 a.m., police responded to the area of Paul Ender Drive in Kitchener after receiving the report of an injured male. Upon arrival, police located a deceased male outside near a trail in the area. A post-mortem investigation determined the cause of death to be multiple stab wounds. The victim was identified as Joshua Bennett from Etobicoke. Joshua, a student at Conestoga College, was just 18 years old. He was completing a two-year program studying carpentry and renovation. He had his whole life ahead of him with plans to move back home and to work for family friend. Instead, his life was taken far too soon. Joshua arrived in the area of 60 Paul Lander Drive on September 23rd, 2021 at approximately 6.30 p.m. Joshua interacted with numerous people outside the area of 60 and 40 Paul Lander Drive between 6.30 p.m. and 7.25 p.m. At 7.25 p.m., an unidentified male wearing a long, dark coat walked away from the housing complex at 40 Paul Lander Drive. Joshua and two males followed in the direction of the unidentified male. This was the last time Joshua was seen on video surveillance. We are also announcing today a cash reward of up to $50,000 to anyone who provides credible information that leads to the arrest and successful prosecution of the person or persons responsible for the murder of Joshua. We believe there are people who know exactly what happened to Joshua and we're appealing for them to come forward. Now is the time. No matter how insignificant you may feel this information is, it could be the missing piece to solving this tragic homicide. My name is Felicia Bennett. I'm the mother of Joshua Bennett, whose life was taken on September 24, 2021. The Waterloo Police Services have worked endlessly over the last three years gathering information. But just like in any case, we need the community's involvement in catching and removing this killer from our community to spare another mother from the pain and grief that has come from losing a child. As a parent in the community, we know that it takes a village to raise a child. And while Joshua may not be here to speak for himself anymore, I'm asking that same village to come together and speak for him to catch a killer. I'm asking you as a hurting mother to do the right thing, not as a family member, but as a human who was placed on this earth to do the will of God. And concealing the identity of a murderer is not that. I have spent time reflecting on his life along with the many others that knew Joshua and loved him. When I think about Joshua Bennett, I think about a very polite, respectful young boy. Joshua was a leader and somebody I can rely on as an example for his classmates, his teammates, and his siblings. The thing I remember most about Joshua was his positive attitude and his smile. It was contagious. Josh was an amazing big brother to Trayson, and I will always remember how protective he is for the ones that he loved. We miss you, Josh. So as the principal at Blessed Trinity, um, I never had the opportunity to meet Joshua, but speaking to other staff members, I've heard uh, many great stories uh, about him. Joshua was a great volleyball player and a, a great leader and motivator on our team. Joshua Bennett was an inspiration to athletics of Blessed Trinity and uh, so much so that we have renamed the Athletic Award at our school to be named as the Joshua Bennett Athletic Award. I've had the pleasure of teaching Joshua Bennett when he was in grade four. He was a very fun loving boy, uh, very helpful, uh, very generous with all his friends and uh, teachers, always saying a hello and goodbye. And um, it was unfortunate that he's no longer with us and uh, it was a very a pleasure teaching him at school. Joshua would have turned 21 this year. And as the chief mentioned, he had his whole life ahead of, ahead of him. Instead, I'm here seeking answers as to why his life was taken. Please, if you know, have any information, it's not too late to come forward. I'm asking you to do it for my family, for his brother, his sister, and myself. But most importantly, Joshua, thank you.